But at a time, at one stage during the second half, it looked like they may not get the draw because once the penalty was awarded and Messi stepped up, we thought, oh, this is it. Argentina are going to go in front. But it didn't transpire. Didi, let's have a look at the incident that led to the, the penalty award in the first place. Yeah, and he, he, had a, he played a major hand in the, in the build-up as well to the penalty. He plays a great ball in here. Um, yeah, Magnussen uh, comes in late. Um, clumsy? Yeah, yeah, clumsy. It's just, you know, we, we see the time in taking again when, 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 when the ball goes over the top and defenders block the, the forward, but he's just behind and he just knocks him over. It's a clear penalty. And then it also shows that geniuses... Uh, can fail. Um, it's not a good penalty. We talked about the penalty of Jelinek actually before. Um, if you don't wait for the keeper to move, which I don't think many players do these days, um, then you've got to place it somewhere where even when the keeper goes the right way, it still goes in. But it, was, uh, it wasn't in the corner. It was a perf perfect height for the goalkeeper. It's a good save, but it's a, it's a poor penalty. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, Messi has missed four of his last seven penalties in all competitions. So, uh, although, who was going to step up and say, hang on, I'll take it, Lionel? <laughs> not, not many on that Argentina side, maybe Paraguero. Uh, 